Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you have had a fabulous weekend and a better Sunday. I'm going to wait just a few minutes for people to come in and find myself on my iPad. Cynthia Jacobson, you're the first one in tonight. Okay. Let's see if I can get this rolling so I can see your comments once I turn this around. Swipe left to reveal comments and reactions. There we go, yay! I see Betty is here and Melissa and Patricia. Welcome, you guys. So, how was your weekend? I don't know about where you live, but here in Wisconsin, we had a really pretty weekend. Hi, Connie um, and Kelly. We had beautiful sunshine. It wasn't too hot. Um, this weekend, I went up to my mom's house. Haley and Valerie and I went up Friday night. And we didn't leave till 8 o'clock at night. So that's Val's bedtime. So hopefully she would sleep because she doesn't like being locked in her car seat. <laughs> She's a little um, persnickety about that. And we thought, okay, we'll wait until her bedtime and we'll head over to my mom's house. It's about, I don't know, a two hour drive. And um, she didn't sleep at all. <laughs> she fussed pretty much all the way over to my mom's house. And then we thought she'd go to bed really early. Like, well, not early, now it's 10 o'clock. Then we thought she'd go to bed really easy. And um, she didn't. And then Haley thought, well, since she's up so late, she'll sleep in in the morning. And she was up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Being the parent of a toddler is so much fun, right? <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Sandra. Wendy, happy to see you here. Rhonda's here. So um, we went to my mom's house Friday night. Saturday morning, um, late morning, we drove further up north to where we go bear hunting because one of our bear hunters got her master's degree recently. And what a huge accomplishment that is. And she had a party, and so we went up and saw all of our bear hunting friends, and that was really fun. And um, then we drove back to my mom's house and stayed overnight until this morning and then came home. So it was really fun. Um, a nice, relaxing weekend. And then today, Anna and Scott and Molly and Andy came over to play in the pool, and the kids bought us an inflatable bull for the pool for our anniversary. <laughs> so we have this blow up bowl in this circle thing. It's hysterical. And so Steve blew that up and threw it in the pool today. And the girls were trying it and Scott was trying it. And can I just say it looks pretty hard, but um, I'm sure you'll be able to see videos of me doing it not too long from now. <laughs> I will ride that bowl. And just a few minutes ago, Steve came in with all of his man tools and tightened up my camera holder because it was like drooping down. We can't have a droopy camera holder, right? <laughs> Hi, Margaret. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Jenny. Happy to see you. So that was um, kind of our weekend. I haven't seen you guys in a couple weeks. It was 4th of July weekend last Sunday, and I did spend that with family, and we just had such a nice weekend. Got all our fingers. We didn't blow any fingers up from fireworks or anything like that. But uh, hi, Tundra. Um, we um, celebrated the 4th of July, and it's also Steve's and my 29th wedding anniversary. And then we celebrated my birthday on July 7th. And thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. Um, we went out to dinner at my favorite supper club. And I enjoyed a little lobster. Because I do like lobster. <laughs> um, then, let's see. Um, I need to give you guys a John update. So John, he bought... I know, way to go, Steve, right? He was right up here. I yelled out the window. I'm like, Steve, I said, Anna, tell your dad to bring some pliers up here. And he was like, up here in a jiffy. Um, because that'll lead into this little comment. Earlier today, when I got home, he yelled up the stairs and I, I came right up here because I have a lot of deadlines that I'm hitting right now. And he said, and I quote, I had to write it down. You better start seriously getting to work um, or you'll be living on the porch. 
<laughs> he says crazy stuff like that all the time, but it was really funny. You better seriously be getting to work. So I, I was seriously working pretty much all afternoon. Um, we have Stamp Happy Live tomorrow. And for those of you that may not be aware, um, the Stamp Happy Academy is a website and you can just type that in www.stamphappyacademy.ning N -I -N -G, and you'll find all the details for it. It's a subscription website. You get four online classes every month. Um, so it's a, it's a super good deal. It's $19.95 a month for a basic membership and $34.95 a month for a premium membership. Premium membership enjoys all the things that basic enjoys Plus, they get three live classes every month. One from me, one from Barb, one from Dina. And tomorrow, I am live on the Stamp Happy Academy website. And um, so I was busy today trying to get my cards made for that. What we do in the lives is I take three different card layouts. So I have a layout, a different layout, and a different layout. And I, I have three different cards for each one of those. So a total of nine cards plus the layouts would be 12 um, for each live. So I'm live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. If you wanna check that out, like I said, go to www.stamphappyacademy.ning, N-I-N-G, dot com. And you will find all the details for it. And thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. I see lots of happy birthdays coming in here. So thank you so much. I did have a wonderful birthday. Um, and Steve bought me a gift certificate to um, Lake Park Fitness. And you might think he wants me to exercise, but it's actually for a massage. Yay! Yay me! Oh, and before we go any further, I have to show you my nails. Look at how cute they are. Yeah, and then I'll show you what happened to my nails. The day I got them done, this happened. Isn't that horrible? So I will be going to see Miss Vicky tomorrow because that's not okay. But the rest of them are really cute. Let me not put my naughty finger up. There we go. Aren't they cute? I love them. Anyways, got my nails done. So Steve bought me a gift certificate for a massage and that's like the perfect gift for me because my shoulders and my neck get tight from time to time. It depends on how much I'm stressing myself out. <laughs> and I say that because most of my stress I put on myself. <laughs> Let's just be real about that. Um, by, um, I need to work ahead better. That's what I need to do. And then I wouldn't feel stress. But I try to keep that to a minimum. Anyways, um, John update. John bought a new riding lawnmower a little while ago. Over the weekend, he bought a bag, a great big bagger for his riding lawnmower. I saw his wife driving it in the front yard and he had to open it up and take the grass out of it because it kind of got jammed up. And I thought, huh, that's not working so good. <laughs> this is your first run with it and it's already jamming up. But I didn't talk to John, I was just watching him. <laughs> for those of you that might be new to me, John is our next door neighbor. And when, um, when the whole pandemic started, um, Steve would come running, not running, but he'd come up the stairs and he would open my door to my office and he would say, John just got a new work truck. And he would just give me all these reports on John. So we've kept the John report going, even though the pandemic is, you know, kind of almost over, right? Maybe, I don't know. We're not going to get into that. Anywho, um, wanted to let you guys know Bingo registration is open. If you've ever done cards and bingo with me, it's a card class and I throw a little bingo in between. And um, I make five cards for you and then we play four games of bingo. There's fabulous prizes. Bingo is $35 and then I always have three stamp sets or three bundles that you have the opportunity to add on to your bingo registration if you would like to get them. And those are the bundles or stamp sets that I use in my cards and bingo class. So um, you get five make and takes when you register for bingo, plus you get 15 to $20 worth of product that is put in there, whether it's ribbon, embellishments, designer series paper, it's always a surprise. But then I do a live cards and bingo on the last Wednesday of the month. And um, cards and bingo this month will be July 28th. And it starts, I believe, at 7 p.m. Central Time. And we just have a lot of fun. So 
Registration is open. You can find that on my blog, www.astampabove.com. In the right-hand column, you're going to find online classes. That's where bingo registration is. And, oh, I, I missed somebody. I cannot stay and join tonight, but I'll watch later. She's missing missing my Stampin' Up! Live. Pam, don't you worry. You can watch a replay if you need to, right? We're flexible like that. <laughs> um, the other thing that I wanted to let you know is my kit class for this month is going to use the In Symmetry Bundle. And I'll be showing that to you tonight because we're going to make a card or two with it. I have fun folds tonight. I know that's shocking, right? <laughs> um, but my kit class you have the opportunity to add the bundle on. The kit is $40. It comes with um, a half a pack of designer series paper, elegant faceted gems, flirty flamingo metallic ribbon. Uh, da, 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 did I say sweet symmetry, half, half a pack of that? And then it, it has make and takes, cut card stock for eight cards. You get four different designs and you'll be making two of each. That is my kit class for the month in symmetry. So pretty. You can add the bundle on for $35. That registration is not open yet because I was gone all weekend, but I will be getting it up on my blog in the next couple days. Um, the online class that Barb Dina and I are doing in the month of July uses the plentiful plants. And if you're familiar with our catalog, you know what I'm talking about. It's those fun plants with the macrame hanging dyes. Oh my gosh, we are having a blast with that. So that also will be up for registration soon. Okay, let me see if I missed anything. Um, bingo registration, we're gonna be using the watercolor shapes, the flowers of friendship bundle and the hats off bundle. So lots of fun cards there. Okay, we have a new mini catalog coming out soon, you guys. If you join my team, you can join my team to build a business. You can join my team to get a discount. It doesn't make any difference. But when you join Stampin' Up!, you get to order out of mini catalogs a month in advance. So um, we have a brand new mini catalog coming out August 3rd. And if you would like to get products out of there early, you can join my team. It's a lot of fun. You get to order $125 worth of product for only $99. There's no shipping fees, you just pay tax, and you get to completely customize whatever you want for that $125. If you have any questions about that, let me know, because being on my team is a really fun place to be. I think you'll love it. Um, the other thing, we have a DSP sale going on right now. Designer Series Paper is on sale. We have nine different packs of designer series paper that are 15% off and we're going to be using two of them tonight. So that'll be fun too. Okay. I want to do giveaways before I go any further. And before I left, I, I'm getting ahead of the game a little bit before I left Friday night. Um, well, I didn't get this ready, but I got all my cards ready for tonight. So I'm kind of a little proud of myself. Connie says, join Kelly's team. Thank you, Connie. Connie is one of my team members, and I love having her on here. Um, first of all, I am going to be giving away the square vellum doilies. I have a whole pack of these, and this is for commenting last week. So if you're new to me, you want to make sure that you leave a comment. It doesn't matter. You can just say hello. You can say hi from Boise, Idaho. You can say whatever you want, but you want to leave a comment because that gets you entered to win fabulous prizes. And tonight for commenting on my last Facebook Live, we have Perry Overby of Bowie, Maryland is going to get a pack of these doilies. And Perry, I have this all addressed and ready to go in the mail first thing tomorrow. Yay! Yay me. I know sometimes, sometimes it takes me a little bit, but I'm, I'm a little ahead of the game here. The next way that you can win fabulous prizes is by sharing my video. And you can click on the screen right now and you can share my video. And that really helps me grow my business. I appreciate that so, so much. Oh, I see somebody coming in from Wisconsin Rapids. Who was that? That was Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Um, anyways, for sharing my video last time, I have, hang on, I gotta get this out. I already put these in the envelopes. I got them ready to roll. I have a half a pack of this beautiful 
um, mercury glass cardstock. This is really fun to make cards with. So I have a half a pack of that going out. And also the Highland Heather, what size is this? This is half inch grow grain ribbon and it's kind of sparkly, very pretty. So I've got a half a pack of designer paper in a half or a whole roll of ribbon for sharing my video last time. And my winner is Heather Kohler and Heather Kohler is from Menasha, Wisconsin. Heather, I will have this out in the mail to you tomorrow morning. Let me see if I can get it back in the envelope. The next way that you get entered into a drawing is by placing an order with me. And for ordering between my last Facebook Live and tonight, I have my winner is Margaret Sweet. And Margaret, I forgot to write down where you're from. But I've got another half a pack of the um, Mercury Glass Designer Series paper and the Party Punch stamp set on its way to you. So congratulations to all my winners. Let me get these back in the envelope so I don't get anything mixed up. And I will have these all out in the mail tomorrow. Yeah, so I think that's it. Yay! Um, I think I'm gonna switch my camera around now and um, we're gonna get ready to stamp. Oh, I might sneeze first. Hang on. I've been sneezing lately. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. I'm going to flip this around and maybe I'll sneeze and maybe I won't. We'll find out. Hang tight. And let's see. Where's my little... There it is. Okay. Here we go. Let's get this in the stand. Ooh, Steve did a really good job for me. Ooh. Sorry, guys. And... It looks like it's really dark here. Is it really dark? Because I don't want this to be really dark. Here we go, I got another light on. I think that'll work good. Okay, this, before I forget to tell you about it, this is my blog and this is my monthly host code. So if you put an order in and it's under $150, please use this code. And it'll, it'll say on the top of your order, host code, and then you can enter that right here. You can always find this in the right-hand column of my blog or at the bottom of every blog post. Um, and then this is my blog, www.astampabove.com. So that's where you can find still photos, a complete shopping list of all the projects that I make and post on there, um, a link to the video. So it's easy for you to find this video if you wanna watch it again. Some people do. Okay, first up, we are going to be using the hand-penned designer series paper tonight. And this is 15% off. It's on sale for $9.78, 12 by 12, beautiful paper. And then I decided to combine this with the color and contour bundle. So there is a stamp set bundle that goes with hand pen called hand pen, but we're gonna use the color and contour tonight, which is some fantastic dyes and also the stamp set. And I've got Memento Black ink here, as well as Misty Moonlight and Mint Macaron. We're gonna be using those doilies on this card. And then I've also got my Stamparatus. This is a fabulous positioning tool and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. And my stamps are all mounted. Okay, let's get this out here. And by the way, if you ordered any of the kits that I had last month, they are all, oh, let me straighten this out a little bit. There we go. They are all in the mail and out. Um, I had some problems with some back orders on one of the things, and so it was a little delayed, and oh, I hate it when back orders happen, but all the kits are out and ready to roll. Okay, so we're going to go through, ooh, did I forget to write down, uh-oh, hang on, I'm looking for my measurements, oh no, Kelly, I don't have my measurements, so that's great, oh no, here they are, <laughs> they're right here. I'm like, oh my Lord, didn't I write measurements? So what we're gonna be making here is a tunnel card. And tunnel cards are really cool. I think you're gonna love this. I decided to use a mint macaron card base, and this is just your basic card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half inches. And um, we're also going to be using 
a white layer and I've got myself a note that says stamp before scoring because I knew I would mess that up if I didn't put myself a little note on there. This white piece is five and a quarter by eight and we are going to stamp it and then score it. Then we've got a piece of the hand penned designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. Another piece that is two by five and a half. And we're gonna do a little die cutting, all kinds of good stuff here. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take our card base and we're gonna fold it just like you normally would in half. So we'll get that folded in half and burnish that edge good. And then, oh, and we have an envelope. I like to decorate my envelopes. So I'm going to, um, this is two and a half by six. And since, you know, we have designer paper on sale, I say buy two. I like to buy two of each pack so that I don't have to feel chintzy about using it. And I think you guys know what I mean. When I only buy one pack, I'm afraid to use that one pattern because I know as soon as I do, I'm gonna find a project and then I'm not gonna have enough of it. Do you guys ever do that? Me, I'm guilty. So now I buy two packs and then I find that not only am I not feeling chintzy about it, but I'm actually using my designer series paper instead of hoarding it. And we all know for the most part we're hoarders. Like we have a little bit of hoarding tendencies, right? Yeah. And it's okay because crafts are fun. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether you sew or quilt or what you do, paint, we all hoard the products. Isn't that pretty? That's just gonna make somebody happy when they open their mailbox, right? Yeah. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do stamping on this one that I said I need to stamp before I score it. And we're gonna take our um, mint macaron. Oh, I'm missing a color here. Am I? No, I don't think I am. I think we'll be fine. Ooh, ooh, hang on, let's see. Um, yeah, I think I want pale papaya. Hang on. I've got so many bins packed up right now that I'm sure I probably pulled this out by accident. So I want pale papaya and misty moonlight. And then I'm going to bring in this outline flower from that color and contour set. This is such a beautiful stamp set. And it has these amazing dyes that go with it. Love that, right? But I love the fonts in this. I just think they're fun and quirky and I love quirky fonts. So we are going to stamp our flowers around on this white layer. And I want them to be very random. Okay, so we've got all of those. Then I'm gonna bring my chamois in here and I'm gonna clean this stamp up. This is called a um, chamois. S-H-A-M-M-Y. You can find it in my store. Hang on just a second. Let me make sure I get all this blue off of here. You can find it in my Stampin' Up! store when you type in the word chamois, and it is the best stamp cleaner ever. I must have some color under that. Um, then we're gonna go with pale papaya, and I'm just going to stamp these, again, randomly. like that okay kind of left this empty but maybe I'll put one right down here that looks good and maybe I'm gonna go with another one kind of at the top here in the blue just like that okay now we've also got these little dots that come in the stamp set hmm, what color do I want to use so I want to use mint let's see um, no, I don't think I want to use mint for that. I think I want to stick with the pale papaya. So I'm just gonna, yep, I like that. Stamp that. Those little spots all over in here kind of tones down the white. And that's good. That looks good to me. Okay. Now, we're gonna do a little scoring. Let me set these aside so I don't stick my paper in them gonna bring in our paper trimmer and do a little bit of scoring and what we're gonna do here is we are going to score at well, well first of all 
you can just fold this in half. You don't need to score that part. It kind of makes it easier and you're less likely to not get it perfectly centered, I guess, right? You will get it perfectly centered if you do it this way. Okay, so um, fold it in half and then we're gonna score it two inches from each end. And I think this is the best way to do it because this needs to come out very even when we're done. It goes two and two. So I just did two on one side, two on the other side, and this is what we have. Now we're going to bring in one of the dies here. Oh, Anne Marie, you're so welcome. Anne Marie says, thank you for the lovely birthday card and gift. I hope your day was special. Um, I'm trying to see more. There we go. You're so you're very welcome. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take this particular die and we're going to put it right in the middle with that score line. Now, you wanna make sure that this is centered and I happen to know that this little scallop is the very center of this die. So I'm just gonna tape that down and we're gonna run this through our die cutting machine in just a second. We have some more die cutting to do too, so hang tight. Uh, I need to grab a scrap. Got all these little scraps of white. You will need a scrap of white. So we're going to stamp our flower. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see if this turns out okay. Oh, I know what those blue lines are for. Okay, so I put those little blue marks on my stamp with a pen, and that lets me know to use the top of this, and then when I hold, this is a two-step stamping, right? When I hold this stamp, I've got some little ink marks up here. This is how this is gonna line up, like this. Not like that, but like this on both of these. So I'm gonna see what this looks like and see if this is gonna be a pretty combination. I'm going to stamp my flower in the pale papaya. That's the um, inside the detail, or the, the inside, the filler, I guess. And then I'm going to come in with this one and stamp it. And it doesn't all line up perfectly. Don't let that freak you out. It's okay. Just stamp it. And then we're going to take the die out of here. Look at this fun scallop that comes in these two. I really, really love this particular bundle because the dies are really nice. You get all of these scalloped rectangles and then you get a die for this flower. You get this scalloped edge and this die over here is for this flower right here, which also is a two-step stamping process. Okay. So, um, let me set this aside. Ooh, I don't want those to fall down behind my desk. And now we're gonna figure out where is this? So hang tight while I get this lined up. Let me see. We've got, this one goes way down in there. Is that where it goes right there? Nope. I didn't have any trouble doing this the other day right there like that. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I just find some type of a little quirky area on here and it looked like this would be it and sure enough it is. And that's how I figure out how to line these up. Okay, so we're going to put a little temporary tape on here. All right, now we're going to move these out of the way and bring that die cutting machine in. And here my big die cutting machine comes and we'll cut out this scallop from the middle of our tunnel card. Hi, Molly. Do you see Steve Atchison is coming in? That's Molly on Steve's iPad, <laughs> which is pretty cute. And then we're going to die cut this one. Let's make sure that lays down there. Okay, everybody's saying hi to Molly. Okay, here comes our flower. Okay, 
here we go. I always love the magic of popping these out. Oh, they're so perfect every time, right? Just love that. And now we're gonna have this one. Now we do need a white scallop like this, but this one has a score line in it. And if you wanted to use this one, well, it's got, yeah, it's just not gonna work. So anyways, this is just a scrap. I already um, die cut one out of just basic white cardstock because we're gonna use that on the front of our card to stamp. So let's do that. Bring this back in, we don't wanna lose that. Now we're gonna use our words and that's where my black, my memento black comes in. I'm gonna use the You're Absolutely Amazing. I'm gonna stamp that right here on our scallop. And then we've got the mint macaron, which we're gonna put on for the leaf. There's a little kind of a squiggly, whoops, retro looking leaf here. And I'm just going to take this, whoops, and I'm just gonna kinda stamp it right there with the mint macaron. And then we're gonna use a dimensional to add <laughs> everybody Molly there's so many people saying hi to you Molly was doing TikToks today there's some swimming pool challenge right now on TikTok so um, Anna was doing it with Molly and Andy today in the pool so I can't wait to see that they're gonna and Andy and Anna said she would send it to me when they get it done okay I took one of the doilies and I cut it in half and I already used the other half on my sample card so I knew what I was making. But I'm just going to take that and I want it to be on this side over here. So if I were to put this scallop right in the middle of my card front, I want this to be about right here. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take a little piece of tape, stick it down, super easy, right? And then, I'm going to grab, where did that, here comes that two inch designer series paper. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna put it right down this side. And isn't that just so pretty? I love that blue. I probably would have never put the blue in here, but I love the blue in this design. We're gonna leave a little bit of a margin on the left side. I kind of like the way that looks. It just gives you a little bit of that green poking out there. And then we're gonna put this right on the front. Now you could put it on dimensionals if you want, but I'm just gonna glue it down because I already have this part on dimensionals. And I'm just gonna put this in the very center of my card. Isn't that pretty? Super pretty. Now what are we gonna do with this inside? This is the spectacular part. Here's where the stamparatus comes in and I'm gonna show you what I did. I took the wishing you the happiest of birthdays. This is from the Happiest of Birthdays stamp set. This is one of my favorites because I really love big sentiments. I took this and I just added it in here. So I put my paper in here and I thought where do I want, this is that designer series paper and I want the sentiment to be right in the middle. So I kind of, you, you take this and you Lay it down on here so it's right in the middle and it's straight and then you close your lid and that's going to stick it to here, okay? Now, I want my designer paper to stay in place and so I put some little red marks on this grid paper so I knew where to place my designer paper. But we're going to take a stamp set and lay it under here. That will give you a nice flat surface so that you can ink this up nicely. And I'm gonna use that Memento Black ink. And what I found is that this designer paper is pretty porous. And that means that one ink application wasn't exactly the look that I wanted. You can see that it's a little weak here, right? So by using the Stamparatus, as long as my paper stays in place with my magnets, I can stamp this as many times as I want to to achieve the color or the, um, make sure this is all very crisp. 
And now look at how much nicer that is, right? So that's why I chose to use the Stamparatus Plus. I thought if I mess this up, if I get edges, if I smear it, if I don't get it stamped all the way, here's a whole card front and designer paper that is gonna be shot, right? That's what I was thinking about too. Because guess what? I did that. <laughs> And I thought, oh, Kelly, you just blew this whole side of this designer paper. You better use your Stamparatus. And that's where these Stamparatuses really come in handy. I love mine. It's great to make sure things get stamped properly. So we're going to take this piece now and we're going to fold it in half. This is just designer series paper. If this were cardstock, I would recommend that you score it. But because it's designer paper, it's going to fold in half really nicely and we're going to take our beautiful card and we're going to put this in the very inside in that fold okay so what i found was the easiest way to do that is to just put your glue on one side make sure you're right side up here and then i'm going to push this onto my card and Go like that and now I've got a little eighth inch margin here and an eighth inch margin here and for those of you that came in late I just got my fingernails done on Thursday and look what they did like that's not right so anyways I know they look like hell but it is what it is I tried to make them look really pretty for you guys <laughs> and that's what I got okay so here comes the other side close that make sure it folds nicely okay yeah, Sangeeta says she loves her Stamparatus too. I know, right? It's just so useful. Okay, here is our layer. Now we're gonna take that other layer that we stamped up and we're gonna do a little folding and burnishing. So we've got that middle fold. Here was one two inch side. Here was another two inch score on the side. And this is gonna be our tunnel. So are you ready for this? If you've never made one of these, they're super fun and easy. I want you to try it. Step outside your comfort zone and give this a whirl because it's really fun. Now, I found the best way to put this in was to fold it up, okay? And I'm gonna put this over here so I have that same margin around the outside as the designer paper. Do you see what I'm saying here? Same margin all the way around, okay? And now we're gonna put our glue right here on this side. And we're gonna close our part. Boom, super easy. So much better than taking that and trying to stick it to this side, right? Let's make it easy peasy. Look at that. What do you guys think? Is that not super, super cool? Tunnel card, isn't that cool? I love this and I have to tell you I got this card as a birthday card from somebody like they sent me one that looked uh, just different colors and I lost it so whoever sent that to me thank you so much the birthday card was beautiful I'm so sorry but I looked everywhere and I can't find the original card that I was making this from but it came to me as a birthday card and thank you guys whoever sent that please let me know because I feel really dumb not being able to thank you properly <laughs> yeah very cool so here's another one that I made this I used um, blushing bride and a different print of the paper and then I used pool party with garden green here and on the inside I used the stripe mint macaron and then mint macaron and um, blushing bride with I think uh, daffodil yes daffodil little little specks same exact card, just different colors. Aren't, isn't that pretty? Yeah. And then we have our matching envelope that makes this so spectacular. We're going to jiggle a little bit, so hang tight. I don't want anybody to get sick, but this is taking up too much of my space. There we go. Okay, so here's our beautiful matching envelope. Here's another matching envelope, and I have two fantastic cards to go out in the mail. <gasps> Thank you so much, you guys. I see all the hearts coming up. Thank you, Connie, Diana, Dawn, Mary. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, and you saw, it's not hard to do this. It's not hard to make a tunnel. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is you don't have to use a square here. You could use like a big um, oval or any other type of shape here. You could cut it with your with your paper cutter too, you know, if you don't have a die that will work for this. But aren't your friends and family going to be so impressed when they open? It's like, oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this. Totally cool. I'm telling you, you're going to knock their socks off. <laughs> Okay, let me get some of this stuff picked up here. And I'm gonna put these, I really do, you guys love these dies. I highly recommend them. You get all of these cool rectangles with the scalloped edge and then the flowers too. So it's, it's a really good set. All right, let me put these away. And we'll put that away. And yeah, I'm really sad about that, right? And that looks really crummy. Ugh. Put that away. Okay, we're ready for the next one. I'm so excited tonight. I've got just some really cool stuff to share with you. I really missed you. When I'm not on, on a Sunday, it's like I almost go through withdrawals. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, I almost go through withdrawals. Okay, what are you guys drinking tonight? I have my boring but I like it, right? Strawberry lemonade. Mm. So delicious and refreshing. I've got my fan on. I hope that's not making too much noise. Oh, what did I pull out of? I pulled some ink color out of my bins for tomorrow. I guess I'll figure that out later. <laughs> I've got so much stuff packed up right now because there's so much going on. Okay, next up. Um, this one. We are going to be using the in the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. And again, this is, oh, I see Juanita ordered the vellum doilies. Yeah, they're really cool. I like them a lot. And by the way, for those of you that would like to get some of these, order these, they're called square vellum doilies. And when you just start typing that in in a search in the online Stampin' Up! store, just type in square vellum, they'll pop right up. So, yeah, whoops. <laughs> Lori says she goes through withdrawals too. I know, right? It's a problem. Diet A&W Root Beer Debbie has. How was your camping trip, Debbie? We're gonna be going camping at the end of July, the first week in August. Haley and Jared and Val and me and Molly and Steve are going to be camping. I can't hardly wait. Should be a lot of fun. We got to sleep in my summer home this last weekend and it was delightful. Having the baby in there is really nice because, you know, she can't go too far if she happens to get up. She doesn't fall too far off the bed and the floor is carpeted if she happens to fall out of bed because I always worry about that. And I'll tell you something, that child she sleeps with no blankets on and if you touch her she's cold her skin is cold but if you put a sheet on her or anything she's like man she gets all cranky <laughs> okay here we go this is the in symmetry stamp set um it is a bundle with this punch called the symmetrical stems border punch so you can punch a whole border with this this is really cool and then we've got the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. Now, this is going to be my kit class for the month. So you can choose to add this on. The kit is $40. You get a half a pack of the paper. You're going to get a roll of this flirty flamingo metallic ribbon. It's got gold in it. You're also going to get the elegant faceted gems. And eight cards, two different designs. You make, no, four different designs. You get to make two of each. So $40 for the kit. All the cardstock is cut for you. And you can add this on for an additional $35. That does include tax and shipping. So, and then this comes with your kit. But we're gonna be using this, these goodies, to make the cards. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, Haley designed several of the cards in the kit. She is back working for me. She's a teacher in the summer and you guys loved Haley's designs last summer. 
Um, she's working for me one day a week and it gives us time together. It gives her a little bit of time away from Val and um, she's doing a spectacular job as I knew she would, right? She's just very talented. So she designed some of my in symmetry, in symmetry cards and I think you guys will just love them. Okay, so um, I have to figure out which card I'm gonna, oh, I've got a note here that says make this one first. <laughs> So this is the one we're gonna make first. Okay, we're gonna make this one first. And then we've got that, oh, that's the other one. What is this, five by three and three quarters, cut and a dime. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, here comes my little cheat sheet. Now, this fun fold is really cool. And I'm gonna show you how to do this from start to finish because I think it's important that you see all of the steps. I don't want to leave anything out. So this is a diagonal cut card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock in half. So I'm scoring it at five and a half here, and then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter on the short side, okay? Then, what you need to do is you need to cut it from this corner down to this corner. And, hang on, I'm just looking at all my little, yeah. So we're gonna cut it from here to here. Now, how are you gonna do that? Because this doesn't really fit in here very well. Well, if you happen to have a bigger paper cutter, that'll work just fine. If you don't, one thing that you can do is you can draw a line with whatever tool, as you can see, I'm gonna use the edge of my paper cutter here, and you can draw a line from tip point to tip point with the pencil. I just want this, whoops, did you see it jiggle there? You gotta make sure it's gonna be straight. There we go, and there we go. Because the 12 inch ruler isn't long enough to do this. So you draw a line, right down the middle and that's what I've done here so you can put this in a bigger paper cutter or you can grab some large scissors or whatever you need to do but we're going to cut this from end to end and of course you want to try to do a nice job if you're cutting it by hand but it's going to be totally worth it so don't freak out you're going to see how easy this is I was really surprised. And I got this in a swap. The card that I am showing you, I changed it up a little bit, but it came in a swap and it didn't have a sticker on the back. And I take all my stuff out of the envelopes. I don't remember who made it, so I apologize for that. I lost the birthday card and now I can't find that, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Um, take another look at this little bugger. Okay, so once you have this done, you're going to fold on your score lines. That's it, and it's just gonna go together so cool, just like that, and then this is how your card opens. If you want to go the other way, you can do it this way. It doesn't make any difference, but it's totally cool, okay? And now we're gonna decorate it. So this is one card. When you do this to a sheet, you have two cards, and you can make two different cards with this. So. We are going to take another piece of paper and we are going to cut this diagonally. This one is five by three and three quarters. We're just gonna cut that at a diagonal and this will fit in our paper trimmer, so that's good, right? I've just got the point in the um, channel and this point in the channel. Hang on, because my score blade just fell out. And we're going to get that out of the way because we're going to cut this. So our five by three and three quarters is now cut at a diagonal. Okay. And then, whoops, I just got to bring this back. We're going to take a piece of the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. Yeah, Kathy says it fits if you remove the score blade. And it, it actually does fit in there, Kathy, if you remove the score blade. You can do that. 
I kind of forgot about that. Okay, and again, from tip to tip on a diagonal, this is five by three and three quarters. All these dimensions will be shown on my blog with still photos of these cards because I know we need a little bit more with fun folds, right? Okay, so once we get this part, hang on a second, I gotta look over here at my instructions again. Once we get these parts done, I'm gonna bring all these back in here now. We're gonna take this, we already cut the white one, five by three and three quarters at diagonal. Now we're gonna take the designer paper and it fits right on top of here, right? So let's glue that down. Oops. I have a little bit of dry glue on the end there and that doesn't like to roll well. Gosh, you would think this was my first time with a glue bottle. <laughs> I assure you, it is not. <laughs> okay. Do this. And I use basic white because I like that pop of white under here, especially, you guys, when we get it on to this um, Knight of Navy cardstock, right? It's going to be particularly spectacular. So I want this to go the other way. So I think I'm going to pull this. Yep, I want it to go like this. So this top flap is going to go like that and this one's going to go like that. We're going to put this right here. So I'm going to, I just turned it around here and we're going to do a little bit of burnishing. And what I recommend you guys do, this part, grab a crummy piece of cardstock and do this first. So, yeah, <laughs> that's still Molly saying there are so many people. I know, Molly. It is so fun that I get to stamp with all my friends tonight, isn't it? I love this. Makes my heart happy. And then we're going to glue this one on. And that goes perfectly right in here. You just want to use leave the same margin around all the edges. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna get everything put together except the stamping part. So we're going to take this piece, this is four by five and a quarter, and then I've got a three quarter inch strip of the designer series paper. And I think I showed this to you guys, right? What is causing so much darkness in here? Hang on. I know I just jiggled you around, but I want some better light. Oh, that looks so much better, doesn't it? So we've got this beautiful, beautiful floral paper. I absolutely love it. And you could stamp on the inside here if you wanted to, but I just wanted to put a little piece of the designer paper down here and leave a little bit of white margin on the bottom because when we put this on the Knight of Navy card base, it's really gonna pop. Okay, so this goes on the inside. Um, Nancy, Molly came on to watch my live using Steve's iPad. So it says that Steve is watching, but it's really Molly. <laughs> I know that's confusing, right? Nancy says, so now Molly is Steve and Kelly? <laughs> that's what's happening. Okay, look how pretty that is. Okay, now I took the color and contour. Where did that go? Where did my bin go with that in it? Um, hang on a second. We used that on the last card. I took the color and contour, and this is the bigger scallop than the one we used for the tunnel card. So this is a little bigger one, and I die cut that out of some bumblebee cardstock, and it leaves that nice, that nice little dotted line around there. Let me put this back. And so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take it and put it right on the front of my card. Now, you only wanna put your glue on one half of the back of it, right? And I'm just centering this right in the middle. So I'm gonna glue from here to here, just like that. Close this up and just worry about getting this in the center. I want the same margin on the left, the right, the top, bottom. Make sure you don't get any glue on here. Okay, so are you with me so far, you guys? This is so fun. All right, now we're going to do some stamping. 
So let me bring my piercing mat in here. And this, where'd my stamp set go? Fantastic little, here it is. My fantastic little stamp set. So now we're going to take <clears throat> Flirty Flamingo and Night of Navy. And I'm gonna stamp my leaves first. And I love these because they're really um, kind of whimsical. And I'm gonna stamp my leaves down at the bottom of my layer. Just like this. Woo! And then I'm gonna stamp my stem. Just like that. And then we're gonna grab our flirty flamingo and we're going to stamp. Yes, Jewel asked if I will show the other cards at the end. I always bring out my cards again, so don't worry, you'll get to show what I made to start with. And here comes my flirty flamingo. And then I've got Bumblebee for a little sentiment at the top. And this says, hey friend. I'm gonna do that. Isn't that cute? I love this. So pretty. Okay. Let me get some of this stuff closed up before I have some accidents. We all know how that goes, right? <laughs> Who's still in their swimsuit? Oh, somebody is interacting as me. I'm wondering how that's working. I see what you're saying now. I see there's a comment from me. That's not me. Molly must have switched modes on Steve's iPad because he does have access to this Facebook group. Remember back when I was getting put in jail all the time? I had to um, make Steve an administrator on this group so that I could get into it. Yeah, don't worry, Facebook. You can't keep me down. <laughs> okay, here's our cool card. Now, we need to make a bow with this beautiful flirty flamingo metallic ribbon. And so I've got my little bow jig out here. And I just got another set of these in. So if anybody needs one of these, just pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com. These are $10, that includes shipping. I'll get one mailed out to you, but they are fantastic. So I just tied a bow here. And we're gonna trim up these little ends. Okay. And here we go. Got my mini glue dots. There we go. Isn't that just the coolest? If you struggle with bows, you need a bow jig. Okay, somebody's asking where I get the trays that hold the clear blocks. These are old wooden stamp cases. So our wood, our wood stamps used to come in these and they had a lid, okay? And um, I just cut the lid off of them. We don't have these anymore, but I'll show you something you can use. These are from a dollar store, these little, little baskets. And I just put some cardstock in the bottom. These work good too. They're a little bit bigger, but they also work well for putting stamps in. So there's, a, there's an option. But if you know anybody who has gotten rid of their, um, taken their wood stamps off the blocks and they might have these cases left. I know I got a bunch of them from a friend that did that. Um, you can maybe get some from somebody, but otherwise I would just try the dollar store for those little trays. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put this right here on my stem. Oh my goodness, so cute, right? I want this to go out like this a little bit more. Super duper cute. And then last but not least, we are definitely gonna add a little bit of bling. And I'm gonna use these clear, elegant, faceted gems to add a little bling. And it's very subtle, but it's got the faceted thing going on. So it really does look pretty on here. We're gonna add those, look how pretty that is. Okay, and then look at this. Oh, isn't that cool, you guys? Love, love, love this. Okay, now, we made that card. And now I thought what I would do is show you 
the other one because when you cut out one, you get two cards, right? So I thought, well, why not make up two cards? So here comes another one. All right, um, I am going to do something a little different. We're gonna use the punch, and this is the Symmetrical Stems Border Punch, and I'm just going to center this punch on a four by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. And let's see, how do I want my card to open? I think I want this to go the other way and you can futz around with your own and decide which way you want it to go. I'm gonna do this and this is gonna open up like this. So this is gonna be the inside of this card. I'm just doing it a little different. And of course you can put designer paper under here, whatever you want, but I'm gonna leave it be the navy blue with the punched out stems. Okay, so that's my inside. I did the same thing, I took a five and three quarter, well this would be the other half of the one that I already cut, right? This was five by three and three quarters and I just cut it from end to end. This is the other side of our designer series paper, okay? And now, if you made it the same as this card, your flowers would be upside down. So I decided to use the other side. And so I'm gonna glue the other side on here. We're gonna use that bumblebee side. Here we go. I'm gonna glue that. So when you, when you cut for one of these cards, you're actually cutting for two, which is pretty nice, right? Make two right away and you'll be ahead of the game. Okay, then we're gonna take this and put it right up here. So this card's gonna be, it's gonna be um, a wide card versus a tall card. And it's gonna be a hamburger versus a hot dog. You guys ever hear anybody say that? My friend Barb uses that. The cards like this are the hamburger cards and the tall cards, like the other one we made, are the hot dog cards. I gotta get a little bit of glue under this end. I bent it a little bit and now it doesn't wanna stay down. There we go. Oh, now it's gonna squirt out. Hang on, let me wipe that on my pants. I've got shorts on tonight, it'll work. Okay, so we've got this going on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little white piece and we're gonna do a little bit, where did my thing go? We're gonna do a little bit of stamping here. Who's laughing? <laughs> Brought worse time, watch your replay. Who's laughing, what's happening? I so need the bow jig. I have issues with my motor skills. Oh good, Anne-Marie, you just pop me an email and I can invoice you. Oh, is Steve on here or is that Molly? What is happening? <laughs> Molly says I have the best granny. You're so sweet, Molly. Oh my gosh, could you, you just can't not love her. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take Night of Navy ink and I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments. And this white piece, by the way, I didn't tell you how big this was. This is... Um, two and a half by three and three quarters, and it fits right inside that scallop. Okay, I got some ink on my fingers or something. So I'm gonna put this right down here with Night of Navy ink, and then we're gonna grab the Just Jade. Ooh, and I need Calypso Coral too. We're gonna grab the Just Jade, and here's our little stem. So we need to clean this. Does anybody see my chamois? Here it is. Here comes the chamois. We're gonna clean this up good. We're gonna clean all of these because we need them to go in different colors. Okay, I need clips of coral. Hang on because I'm sure it's packed up. Yep, it's packed up for that Stamp Happy Live tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of fun too. Okay, so we're gonna do our stem a little different. I want my stem to go this way, like that. So I'm going to take my stem and I am going to go like that. Okay, you can do that with photopolymer. It works really nice. So we're gonna do this and I'm going to stamp that just like that. We're gonna see if I placed it right, I don't know. And then we're gonna take, and I'm using Just Jade ink, and now we're gonna take 
the leaves. Make sure I have them inked up good. And we're going to stamp those just like that. Ah, isn't it cute? So far. And now we're going to do Calypso Coral. This is just one of the coordinating colors with the In Symmetry or Sweet Symmetry paper. Okay, we're going to stamp our flower right at the end of our stem. Whoops, hang on. Super cute, right? Yeah. And let's see. I've got two sets of markers here. I should say I've got two markers here, not two sets, just two markers. And I am going to get all this stuff closed up. I'm going to take my Knight of Navy marker and I'm going to do a little bit of flicking. I just wanted to tone this down a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Calypso Coral and do a little bit of flicking, just like that. Cool, right? Yay! Okay, let me get this all out of the way. I'll clean these later. I still have three more cards to make for my Stamp Happy Live tomorrow. And again, if you came in late, Stamp Happy Live is a membership um, website that Dina Barb and I run. And you get a whole bunch of stuff for your membership. It's a lot of fun. And I am live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you get a premium membership, you will be able to join a class where I'm going to be making nine different cards with three layouts. It's really cool and very fun. Okay, so now this time I'm going to put this on here like this. So I need to make sure that my glue is only behind this part, right? So let's put some glue on there like that. And then I'm just going to center this in the middle of my card front just like that. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, isn't it? Okay, now one more thing. I thought it looked nice with one of these. Um, this is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon, and I'm going to do a tiny little bow with my bow jig again. And, oh, I am missing a whole, oh, what did I just do? Hang on, you guys, I just messed something up. There we go. Okay. Whew. Now it's asking me if I want to put it on my Apple TV. <laughs> I don't have an Apple TV. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. Hang on, you guys. I need to get rid of some things on here. Not now. There we go. Now everything's okay. Sorry about that. I touched something on my screen. <laughs> you know how fun technology can be when you don't know what you're doing, right? And sometimes it's a problem. Okay, so, oh no, somebody lost somebody. I needed to be with my simple system. My mom passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, don't, I didn't see who was talking there, but my heart goes out to you. So very sorry. I'm glad you're here tonight. Maybe you can get a little giggle and some inspiration, right? That's what I always hope for. Ha, ah, look at how cute that is. Then we need a little bit of bling. And this time I think I'm gonna use the white. These are, these are not clear, they're white. And I'm gonna do one right there right in the center. Look at how that faceted. Oh, is that so pretty? Okay, so here's our other one. So like I said, when you cut for, when you want to make one of these, you're actually cutting for two. And let me bring the other one back. Here comes the other one. So this one is Bumblebee with Flirty Flamingo and Knight of Navy. And then this one is Knight of Navy with Calypso Coral and Just Jade. And then we use that punch on the inside. And don't forget, I have a kit class with this whole bundle of product this month that is um, already created. I just have to shoot videos for it. So like I said, having Haley here to help me, I'm a little ahead of the game, which is amazing. Okay, so somebody asked to see, oh, don't forget about these, yay. Okay, and I have to show you the card that I got in the mail. And again, this is a swap card, but I don't, it doesn't have a sticker on the back. This was the card that 
started all of this and I'm like oh my goodness I must show this to you guys and it's just really cute right this uses the um, party pattern paper which is colored on one side patterns and then black and white on the other but isn't that pretty so then from that I decided to make this and because when you cut one you're cutting two I thought well I need to do something with this other one and that's where this one came in fun right <laughs> I know. Okay, where did my... Oh, and here's the other cards. Here are the first cards that we made. This is a tunnel card, and it uses the color and contour. And when you open this up, it's got a tunnel inside for the sentiment. And then this, we've got this one. It's just a different color. Fun, right? Yay! I know, I had so much fun making these. Like, I was almost giddy. Now remember you guys, I always, always appreciate your orders. And if your order is under $150, please use this host code. You can find it all the time on my blog in the right hand column. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use this because you're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those rewards. Okay, and um, you guys know that orders are what keep me in business, keep me paying my bills, and I do love my job. So it doesn't really seem like a job when you love it so much, right? Now, who would like to see the beautiful birthday cards that I got? I am so excited to show these to you guys. So hang tight. I'm going to grab them. Let's see if I can get them all in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show them all to you guys tonight. Okay, I think this, these are all of them. I don't know if I can show them all to you tonight because there's a lot, but I will get through all of them so you can see all the beautiful, fabulous ideas because you guys, you guys are amazing. I learned so much from you it's just crazy. This came to me from my friend Arliss Knoop. She's from my hometown and she's actually my Aunt Janet's mom. And isn't that pretty? She used the ice cream for that happy birthday. Love it. Then we have Elaine Rebeck who made me this beautiful card. Look at that. This is really pretty. Gorgeous. And where did that other envelope go? What did I just do with that? I do not know. Okay, we're just gonna keep going here. This comes to me from Margaret Herrick. And look at how pretty this is. This is a fun fold too, right? Love that, gorgeous. Then we have Luba. Luba sent Steve and I an anniversary card. Look how pretty that is, yeah. This was for our anniversary. Luba, you're so sweet. Thank you guys so much for the happy birthday wishes. I don't care if they're late or early. I take them all. Having a birthday is a fabulous thing. It means you're above ground for a little while longer, right? <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. This is from Anna Ribado. I love this. I love that paper too, Anna. Very, very pretty. Little panda. Yay. And then we have, oh, this is super pretty. This is from Lori, yep, Lori Callies. Look at this, you guys. I'll have to show you how to do this. This is so fun, isn't it? Another fun fold, Lori. Beautiful. All right, next up, um, Jody sent this to me. Holy cow. Jody P Peterson, this is gorgeous. And look at this. This is a fun fold also. Isn't that just so beautiful? Yay! Happy birthday! Yeah, I thought this was really cool. And this is like, I can't remember what they call this card, but I know I can find out. But it's a, it slides on and off. Like this piece in the middle slides back and forth. So just so pretty. Very beautiful. Next, we have Andy Aquisto. The world needs more of you. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. A lot of these people are my team members. So Anne, um, Lori, um, Jody. 
Oh, and then I have to show you this. This is from Wendy Morse. She's also on my team. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. And she sent me some hot flash cooling mist. And oh my goodness, I am so excited to try this. Wendy, thank you so much. Because you guys know that if I, I have a hot flash, if I make some little mistakes or something. So <laughs> I can't wait to try this. Yeah, what a nice gift. Super cute. Okay, next up. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Carolyn Tinkham. This is another fun fold. Look at this. Uh, what? What? <laughs> yeah, isn't that amazing? Beautiful, beautiful card with that You're a Peach suite. You want to, I'll open it again. What? What? <laughs> I love what she did here with the inside too. It's just really cool with the dye. The stitch so sweetly dyes like that is so, like, so pretty. Okay, next up, we have Luba wishing me a happy birthday. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty, Luba. Luba, Luba sends me cards frequently, and I love them. Then we have, is this from, yep, Trudy Hudson, a little spotlight technique, right? Oh, Connie wants me to teach that slider card. Let's see, where did that go? That was Jody's card. I will be happy to do that. Technique card here. Beautiful, beautiful card from Trudy. Thank you so much, Trudy. You are so sweet. Then we have Tammy. Hang on. Hang on. Tammy Laley? No, hang on. Tammy Litsky, there we go. Look at a little pocket card. Isn't that fun? Oh, love this. These are easy to make, but I think they're spectacular. Thank you so much, Tammy. Sorry, the postmark on the envelope scratched off your name, so that's why I was having trouble with that. Oh, and look at how cute this is from Karen Nevin. Isn't that just adorable? Yeah, even little popsicle sticks on here, you guys. Super, super cute. Happy birthday. Thank you, Karen. Then we have Bonnie Kelly. Oh, hang on, I gotta get this little note out of here. Isn't this pretty? I just love it. It's just a real classic layout, but it's just so pretty. Yep, beautiful. And this was a thank you card. She um, got some baker's twine. You are very welcome, Bonnie. Thank you for the beautiful card. Oh, I thought this one was really cute. Um, this is from, I think this is from Tommy and Jasmine for my birthday. And I give my mom and my sister cards. So um, they, <laughs> they gave me my cards back for my birthday, which is super sweet. Isn't that cute? A little birdie told me. Yeah. Then we have my friend Denise. Beautiful. She loves the dragonflies. So that's such a pretty card. Love it. Here's one that my mom sent, or my mom gave. Is this from my mom? Nope, this is from my sister. Yeah, and it's a card that I actually made. It was part of my kit. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Love it. I always appreciate the cards, even if I made them myself. This one's from my mom. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? My mom gave me this little elephant planter. He's so cute. Maybe I'll take a picture of him and share him with you guys. But he's so, he's like this chunky little fat little elephant cement planter. And then she put some really pretty plants in it. That was my birthday present, which I absolutely love. And this is from my mother-in-law made by my sister-in-law. This was for Steve's and my anniversary. And isn't that just beautiful? My sister-in-law Pam lives in San Diego and she is an incredible scrapbooker and stamper beautiful then we have this one from my sister-in-law that lives in San Diego and look she used tool in here let me see if I can get something darker she used tool in there to set that mermaid on so she looks like she's floating isn't that cute yeah very very cute she always gives me great cards too oh I have some mail it isn't open. I thought I opened it all. Oh my gosh, look at what Julie Hillsman sent me. This is that Hats Off. We're using this for bingo this month. I can't wait to start playing with it. The Hats Off bundle. Super, super cute. This is for Julie. 
Thanks for all you do. Happy birthday. Thank you, Julie. That is adorable. And then, hang on, I thought I opened all these. I always usually open all the cards and look at them and read them before I, as I get them. Oh, this is a peach card, so hang on. Um, this is actually a swap made by Kathy Miller. Isn't that cute? Love that you're a peach set. I have to put that one over here. Then my old, one of my old, old friends, Esther Bethke. Esther used to come to my Hobby Lobby classes. She lives in Ripon. Hang on, let me get this. <gasps> Look at what Esther made me. Isn't that pretty? Happy birthday! <gasps> Thanks for another year of inspiration. Esther, thank you so much for another birthday card. She sends me a card every year for I don't know how many umpteen years, and I just love it. Okay, next up we have Barbara Pike. Hang on, Barbara. This is the second to the last card that I thought I opened them all, but I didn't. Look at how pretty this is. That's that new bundle. I'm using this punch in the Stamp Happy Live tomorrow. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Happy anniversary. How gorgeous is this with that belly band? Barbara, this is so pretty. Love it. Thank you so much. Okay, last one that I didn't open is from um, Victoria Salix from Minnesota. Ouch. Oh, look at that. I loved this die so much. Happy birthday. I hope it's a beautiful day. It was. It was absolutely gorgeous. Okay, then um, I did open these prior. This is from my niece, Emma. And this is one of our paper pumpkin kits. I gave it to her and she made me a thank you card. So yeah, she says, recognize this card. It's from Paper Pumpkin. <laughs> Beautiful card. My friend Cindy Ellers. Oh, I thought this one was really clever. Look at this. She die cut this and then put the flower on the inside. Isn't that pretty? And she said to a person who still got it, but might not remember where they put it. Isn't that the truth? Happy birthday. She goes, yep, that's me also. And what a cute way to say that. Yeah, very pretty. Next up, we have Claudia. And I always say Claudia's name wrong, but I like saying Padone. I don't know if that's right or not, but Claudia, I like saying it that way. Like, I like to say Anne de Cristo, too. We have Lisa de la Sandro. It just rolls. <laughs> oh, and Molly just said she's sleeping over. Yay, Molly. Happy to have you, my love. Hi, Rose. <laughs> okay, you're the cherry on top. Isn't that cute? And the O is a cherry. That's sweet. Thank you so much, Claudia. Then Mary Lynn. Oh, look at this. This is very striking. I just opened this one today. Wishing you a very best on your special day. Look at how cool that is, right? I love this. Yeah, maybe we'll make one of these too because they're really fun. Beautiful card. Thank you so much, Mary Lynn. Next up, we have Ruth Charda. Oh, this is another cool one. Ready? Are you ready? This is from Ruth. What? Just want to say happy birthday. Can you see that on the inside there? Isn't this fun? Yeah, it all folds up. Ruth, you outdid yourself. And she said, love being on your team. You always inspire me to try new things. Well, I hope that I'm inspiring a lot of people to try new things because new, new and exciting keeps things interesting, right? Yeah. Another pretty, oh, this was absolutely gorgeous. Suzanne Scott, you are just an outstanding stamper. And Suzanne is also on my team. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Look at what she did with all those little flowers. They're so cute. This is really beautiful. I love this card. Okay, Carrie Schumacher, another beautiful card. Oh, I love this paper. Isn't it pretty? This is from Carrie. She's also one of my team members. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I loved this stamp set too. So pretty. Then we have... Uh, Karen, and hang on, I'm trying to read your last name because the postmark made it crazy. Hmm. Karen from Lewes, Delaware. Look at this pretty card. I love the smile. I just love, anytime there's a stamp that set that has smile in it, it's mine. Look at that. 
so so pretty Karen thank you so much next up we have happy happy oh this is from Claudia this is an anniversary card look at that isn't that pretty I love this and then these three little diamonds or rhinestones just so very elegant beautifully done Claudia beautifully done then we have this cutie patootie this is from Sarah isn't this cute and I don't know how to say her last name but I'm gonna try it it's deep it oh how'd I do but look at that goat he is so funny very very cute thank you so much Sarah and then we have Mary Thiel. Yay, Mary. Look at this. This is what's one of our paper pumpkin kits, too. Super, super cute, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we have, oh, this is from Susan Hine. Hang on. Look at how pretty that is. This is just so unique. <gasps> yes. It says, celebrate the joy of living and being surrounded by those you love. Yay, Susan, thank you so much. So pretty. Here's another gorgeous one, right? Oh, I love the shells. It's just so, so spectacular. This one is from Peggy Williams. Peggy, thank you so much. This is beautiful. Oh, we're almost at the end, you guys. Sandy Bennett, this card I think came today. And isn't that just striking? This is the design, some designer series paper, and she cut the flowers out of the paper. But it's just striking. I just think it's so, so pretty. It's your day. Thank you so much, Sandy. Absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, oh, I love this one. This is from Sonia Da Silva. I love what you did here with the peach and the blue. It's just so, like, charming. Happy birthday to me. Wow, what a stack of cards. Like, I feel blessed beyond measure, you guys. I don't even, like, I'm very humbled. I feel super special to have so many friends. And the fact that you guys are sending me cards or wishes, um, wishing me happy birthday, taking time away from yourself or your family or whatever to do that for me. I just feel very blessed and very thankful to have all of you. And I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight because I had a blast. Where'd our cards go? Right here. Okay, hang on. I'm going to have a lot of cards over here. I don't want to mix anything up, but I think we did pretty good tonight. So I'm going to set that one right there. Whoops. Hang on. I got cards falling. Here we go. I don't want to wreck anything. Here comes our tunnel card. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. Very, very cool, right? And you saw how easy, right? I will have the dimensions and all of that stuff up on my blog tomorrow. Probably not tonight because I gotta get ready for Stamp Happy live. Um, so I will probably be doing the pictures and photographs and everything in the morning unless I, for some miracle, really make things move along tonight. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna though. I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do. But here's the cards we made tonight, tunnel card. And then we have these that are so cool with the in symmetry that is gonna be my kit for the month. Um, I do not have a link up to order that kit yet, but I'm gonna get it up in the next day or so. And um, gosh, did I miss any questions tonight, you guys? Um, it's so hard to try and keep my thoughts together and do the stamping and read all the comments. I see them. Sometimes they flow through really fast. Yeah. Oh, Sandra said she saw Pacific time tomorrow for your show is 8 a.m. Yeah, I'm on at 10 a.m. tomorrow central time. So 8 a.m. Pacific. Yes. And you can watch the rerun. There's always going to be a link there on the Stamp Happy Academy website for you to do that. <gasps> Carolyn's going to try the tunnel card. Good, Carolyn. It's super easy. It's just so, like, there's not much to it, right? I was really shocked. Yeah. I'm going to spend some time with Molly instead. Well, that's not going to happen tonight, Judy. 
I have a lot of people counting on me to have a class tomorrow. <laughs> if I hadn't been gone all weekend, I would have that ready. But I did, I did um, take off to spend some time with my mom and go to this graduation party and spend time with Haley and Val. And yeah, now I have to work. It's going to be a late night, but that's okay because I do my best work at late at night. <laughs> but thank you so much. I wish I could just stop. I am going to stop and go talk to Molly and, and um, check out what's going on around here. And I'll take a little break and then I'll come back up and get busy on those last three cards. I've only got three left. I love doing these live classes um, with these layouts because it's just so much fun to sit down and just create. That's why I like putting together my cards for tonight for my Facebook Live. Um, and Molly says she's going to help me tonight. Okay, well, I think I probably have some stuff you can do for me tonight, Molly. Molly likes to die cut and emboss stuff. She's really good at it. <laughs> Tina, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Now, remember to share this video. Whether you're watching live or watching a replay, whether you're watching on Facebook or watching on YouTube, you can share on YouTube, you can ring the bell. You want to click on subscribe, click on notifications, so it lets you know when I have a new video up. Um, yeah, Melanie, Molly is a great helper. She does a fantastic job for me, and she knows how picky I am. Like, I'm very picky, and she knows that. Yeah, I got to get these nails fixed, right? It's like my polish came off. It's the weirdest thing I've never, ever had this happen before and it was like the same day I got my nails done I've never had that happen ever so but they are really cute right <laughs> I know I love them my miss Vicki she does a good job for me this is something weird I don't know what happened something didn't go right anyways you guys have a wonderful evening and um, I will see you back here next Sunday for another great card class I think I have some blog hops coming this week too so I'll be posting on my blog and don't forget to register for bingo. You don't want to wait um, until I'm, because I, I can fill up with bingo. So just know that. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.